Hi, Gary Klaben here. In 2010, President Obama signed into law the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, otherwise known as Obamacare, to provide health insurance for all Americans. Now, before you consider not getting the coverage, the number one reason for personal bankruptcies are medical bills. Yes, that's ahead of credit card and mortgage-driven bankruptcies. So what's health insurance? Well, it's a contract that sets forth under an agreement to indemnify you for your costs for doctor's visits and hospital visits and procedures and surgeries and skilled uh, nursing care. And it can be provided by your employer with high or low deductibles and different kinds of benefit plans that you select. And you also may have dental and vision provided as well for a cost. Many times you may pay majority of the premium, maybe your employer does, or some combination of how that is paid based on those different factors. Now, if you can't get health insurance coverage through your employer, you can do that personally. And you can do that by applying to insurance companies, especially using the state-sponsored healthcare exchanges to get your coverage. Now, back to high and low deductibles. Your employer may have a couple of TechSmart plans for you, one being an FSA, a flexible savings account. The other one for high deductible plans is health savings accounts. Both of them are pre-tax payment that you can make for out-of-pocket medical costs. This is a smart way to do it if it's available to you. The important thing here is this. Make sure you get the right deductible and health care coverage that fits your cash flow needs and is certain not to bankrupt you in any manner and allows you to continue to build your wealth successfully over time.